This is Jack Milan of Edibles by Jack, and he's made it possible to have your spoon and eat it too. What are these? Uh, they're actually edible Asian spoons. Um, I developed them about uh, 15 years ago. I'm a caterer in Boston, and I decided that I did not like the concept of a porcelain spoon going to a client who is now inconvenienced. They've got a drink in one hand, a porcelain spoon in the other, and after they eat the hors d'oeuvre, they're wondering, what do I do with this now? So I thought, this is stupid. And besides, I was losing between 20 and 25% of my inventory because some of them figured out what to do with it and they threw them out. Oh, so you so came I, up with an edible spoon. And how did you come up with flavors? I started out with a poppy seed. I am a chef as well. Mm -hmm. I'm a caterer in Boston. I've been in business for 30 years now. And uh, I know a lot about food. So I started with a poppy seed. And then just over the years, different types of uh, ideas came to my head. Right now we have 10 flavors, but I will have 15 within about two months. What are your new flavors coming out? My new flavors are going to be, we're going to do a very neutral one, which is a, just a plain, almost a vanilla. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to be doing a uh, pe pepper dew. A pepper dew is a South African pepper. It's a, very sweet, but it has a piquancy mm -hmm. as well to it, a little heat at the end. I'm doing a Greek one, which is going to be an olive and feta. And then I'm going to do a sesame and ginger. And then the last one, which is coming out about mid-October, will be a gingerbread for the holidays. So you can get a spoon to complement your food with a flavor, or you can get sort of a neutral spoon, so it's all about the food that's in it, and you can just finish off the spoon. You're absolutely right. Um, and the thing is, this is not just a relegated to hors d'oeuvres. I've done breakfast on it. I've done fried quail egg and ham or bacon, shrimp and grits. I've done hors d'oeuvres, appetizers, salads. Uh, entrees, I've done a turkey dinner on a cranberry, and then of course a uh, hot fudge sundae, et cetera, et cetera. Great. If people want to know more, where do they go to learn it? www.ediblesbyjack, E D I B L E S B Y J A C K dot com, or I may be reached via phone 617 884 3791.